Hello, welcome back. You can see I have the uh, fusion chowder up here, which is something I haven't actually shown on screen that I mentioned the last episode. Because I'm on my way to getting Melody to grow into a completely uh, neutral evolutionary path, I decided to just kind of peek into what their stats are sort of moving towards because it's actually kind of tricky to get them right in the middle without really looking at this, so this is a really helpful tool for it. As you can see, Melody is actually leaning towards running, which is what I thought when I was playing it last time because they were looking a little spiny. I thought the green was because they're going to neutral, but you can definitely see the uh, protruding spikes that are turning into a run chow and kind of leaning a bit to fly. But um, that's not really important. I do have some swim drives, as you can see, to balance that out. But what we really need is to get that power somewhere in the middle and the swim just a little bit in the middle as well. Yeah, you can see there's a couple of spines at the back there that's making them turn into the running chow, which uh, you probably know by now is starting to resemble Sonic as like a little chow easter egg. But I don't want that. I want a normal neutral chow, so we've got to balance a couple of the run stats out into power, because they're on the same kind of stat path, I guess. They kind of split them into two, so they're swimming and flying and running in power. Alright, where are we at with swim? That's, yeah, that's pretty much in the middle. It's, it might be a little leaning towards swim, but I don't think that should make much of a difference. So really what I want now is, um, oh. M Melody fell asleep. <laughs> well, okay, I guess I'll hang around in the garden a bit longer before they wake up, but, um, yeah, what I want is just a few more, um, leaning, as you can see, just into this mid-region between run and power. So that means they'll evolve into a neutral normal chow. Let's see actually what Smilerby is growing into because I kind of want to make them into a neutral as well. So they're, oh, they're pretty even actually, but it's kind of moving towards power and fly. But I don't think, I don't think that's actually a difference. Yeah, they're totally balanced. I'm pretty sure like even if they're near the very, you know, if they're one extreme, but they're both level, I'm pretty sure they'll still evolve into a normal chow because yeah, they don't seem to have any features that are leading towards, you know, any of the four types, so... Huh. I actually did that one without really trying. So we'll keep Smile B as they are, because I want uh, this guy to evolve into a dark normal. I actually noticed as I was doing this that I don't think Smile B is actually a regular two-tone, because those tips are definitely supposed to be pinkish red and they're white, so I think I think it turns out that all along Smile Bee was actually uh, a white two-tone which means Smile Bee is the lost kid <laughs> I couldn't find in the first part because we knew that Rosso was because he's a monotone white child but um, it turns out Smile Bee was the one yep there's some kind of, I don't know if it's a glitch or if it's an intentional feature but um it's actually really hard to tell which ones are white two-tones because it doesn't show up in the hero or the neutral but then obviously you turn them into a dark chow and you can see the tips have changed a bit. So I've gone all this time without realising I thought it was just a regular two-tone but nope we have a fancy special one. I think they look pretty good with their phoenix parts. I was actually hoping to uh, oh. <laughs> I love that it was just like la 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 and then just fell asleep. Uh, I was actually looking to turn them into a dark chow because the red would go really well with the phoenix parts and now they're blue, but it's still actually a pretty nice contrast. Like, you know, I could probably just leave you two here forever and uh, see how that goes. Whoops, that was the wrong garden. I meant to go into the hero one and did this one by mistake. And there's no way I'm transporting all of the chaos drives over there. Okay, I made a mistake, so now you have to come to the neutral one. <laughs> hey everybody, how you doing? Alright, whoops, now they're leaning a little too far to the power, so it's a good thing I actually picked up those green drives. Let's see, how did that do? Ooh, that's kind of... Probably okay. I could have actually used one more, because you can see that's 50 and that's 100. So that shouldn't be enough. That shouldn't really be a problem. I think that's enough to make it into a neutral. But 
just to be on the safe side because they're looking a little hero -y, I'm going to bring back in, a, uh, I think, just one more green chaos drive on one of the dark side characters. Yep, now it's completely balanced right in the middle. So a couple more pats. Yep, that ought to do it. That's very nicely balanced out. So I'm not going to give Melody any more chaos drives or animals or anything. In fact, I'm pretty sure um, I'm just going to leave everyone to it now because we have um, Rosso's doing well with their green, I think. Yeah, you can see the spikes coming through. And uh, Lenny's kind of going to a swim. Oh, he's kind of going to swim dark, so let's just uh, bump that up to neutral there. And Smilip is a dark chow and a white two-tone, as we figured out in this episode, so I'll leave everybody as they are. And now it's time to begin the feeding to speed up the evolution process. And maybe we might just get an evolution in this episode, who knows? Hmm. Oh, they're gonna draw something! They drew, um... I, you know what? After all these years, I'm still not really sure what that is. Is it a pizza? I think it might be it might be a slice of pizza. Anyway, that's amazing, Smiler, but I'm very proud of you. I wonder who will be the first to evolve. Let's see. I'm gonna guess... Lenny. I don't know why. I just kind of have a feeling Lenny will be the first one to evolve. Although there is a possibility that it... <laughs> And there they go. It is a possibility that it might actually be Smilip, because they inherited the Big Eater personality. And that's what got over to evolve so quickly, I think, because they ate way more. So you know what? I'm changing it to be a fight between Lenny and Smilib. Let's see who grow big first. Oh, they're eating back to back. <laughs> Why, why do you guys always come to climb up the wall? I don't understand you. Are you going to do it too, Lenny? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, are you joining in too? <laughs> why do you guys do this? Oh! Melody actually got up there. Melody conquered the wall and then fell off. These two, however, are just... Gonna stay here. Yeah, they're confused. Oh, Smilib's getting a bit closer. Who's gonna make it first, Lenny or Smilib? <sighs> they're back at it again. Melody got to the top again. Oh, and he went down the stairs. Oh. Well, you know what? Melody's still the champion. I love how cute Lenny is. I mean, they're all adorable, but just those little, like, ear flaps and that little curved head. It's just, it's just, I love the swim chow. In like, in any of the alignments, they all have pretty great designs. Oh, you actually got up there. <laughs> Good job. Alright, I'm aware that the episodes here are getting super repetitive with me just kind of hatching and then raising and then feeding and then evolving all of the babies, so... In the next one... Well, in the next one I'm going to be concentrating on the Dark Card and kids again, but I think I'll also mix it up with some actual racing. I'll actually raise one of the Chow I've got up into a pretty good champion, probably Ooh, because uh, their stats are pretty high already, and then I'll actually start doing some proper racing to actually get the uh, the medals and the toys and stuff. Because there are some prizes that you can get from them that uh, individual Chow who win the races can use, like toys and things, and you can also get a shovel to uh, plant some trees in the garden, that's what the seeds are for in the black market. But you can also get some other stuff that appears in each of the gardens that all the chow can use. I definitely should uh, start doing stuff like that, like play actually more of the game rather than just like food simulator. Oh, Smilab's drawing again! What are you going to draw this time, Smilab? Oh, it's the pizza thing again. Yeah, Smilab, Smilab's very skilled but only in one very specific drawing. Ooh, Lenny is very close. Did Lenny change colours? And Oh, Lenny's asleep. <laughs> I think Lenny definitely uh, changed colours in the past couple of minutes. Those are definitely deeper, like that chow ball is a lot more blue than it was, and he's definitely getting kind of, a, you know, a yellow tint to that green where that green used to be. They are definitely getting old super fast. 
Wow, Melody is like amazingly good at this. They've consistently been able to climb up that when nobody else could and they're going back for it the second time and they failed. Oh, are you trying to, Rosso? Oh, Melody's going to show them how it's done. Mm, Rosso's having second thoughts about that. Melody just keeps going back, climbing up and bouncing off again. It's almost sentient in a way. Melody seems capable of having fun. Did you see how surprised Melody looked when I said sentient? I think they're all to me. Oh wow, look at the point on Lenny's head there. I love seeing the way the designs and the models actually grow. You know, considering how this is not really a main game and this is just like a little side virtual pet thing, this is super detailed. I mean, look at the way those models change. If you go back and look at like old versions of Lenny from when like they first hatched to when they were growing up and first getting the swim animals to now, that is a huge difference. <laughs> Lenny, what are you doing? <laughs> I've never seen one roll down the hill like that. They only really know a couple of lessons and I, I've really been neglecting that part of the game it's cute to watch them like interact with each other you know with the different lessons they can learn like I don't think anyone's learned a dancing move yet like some of them can draw uh, some of them can play some instruments but I haven't really done anything else yet so let's see what's this lesson spin dance oh right I left the babies there didn't I hold on I'm just gonna go and take the babies out of the dark garden ones really quickly okay good we managed to safely transport everyone out of the garden without anyone doing a surprise evolve on us It was Smilab. I knew it would be Smilab or Lenny that were first to go. You've evolved in a really awkward place, actually. I feel like you're going to get accidentally merged with this pillar. And you're going to be like just a horrifying pillar owl hybrid. A chiller. Yeah, and we get the spooky music this time. Oh, his tail's clipping through the chow cocoon. Here we go. If it's a neutral, we, I'm pretty sure we did it right. If we did it right, it's neutral. Look at that. Look at this guy. Oh, that is amazing. And those wings are huge now. Oh, that's fantastic. I think we did it right. I'll just have a little peek in the Fusion Chow editor. Yep, it says there that Smilib is a neutral normal, so we did it right. And yep, I was definitely right. Those colours are not the usual colours. He's supposed to be black and red, but it turns out he was a white two-tone all along, so he's kind of purplish blue. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lenny! I can't believe it. They actually went at the same time. So Smilib technically won, but I was right about it being Smilib and Lenny. That is scary. I didn't think it would be, you know, that accurate. Where did Melody go? I hope Melody's not doing it somewhere off screen. And you might have noticed there's no music for this guy because the neutrals don't actually play their own specific jingle. That only happens for Hero. And look at the swim! Look at this guy! Look at this little, like, shark guy. Oh, I love him! Oh, no way. Wow, they were right next to each other. I still can't believe that. Hi Lenny, look at this little pudgy face. Melody, are you, uh, you think you have uh, grown up? I might just bring Tails in for you. I'm a bit worried you're gonna like turn into a dark chair. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and quickly get, uh, look at you guys though. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna go quickly grab Tails so I don't mess it up at the very last second. All right, where are you? There you are, Melody. We got you just in time. I'm keeping my eye on you, Rosso. Look at how cool you look with those like, little white two-tone tips. That is really neat. I can't believe I never figured out that's what you were. Whoa! Okay, you, there's no need to be jealous, Melody. I love you all equally. That's okay, easy. <laughs> he forgives you. <laughs> you thought it was cool. And he's asleep. Oh, 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 Rosso. Rosso. Why did you choose to go up there? <laughs> Does that mean Rosso did it when we weren't looking? And, um, Rosso, how are you not falling off? 
Why is everyone choosing really awkward places to evolve? Keeping an eye on you down there. I don't trust you not to evolve, Melody. After what Lenny pulled. Like, once again, no music because uh, Rosso is a neutral type. You are a running chow! Yay, look at the little spikes and the little green wings. That's cute. Please don't fall. <laughs> Looks like a strawberry. Hi Lenny. <laughs> hey Rosso. Oh, Melody's here now. <laughs> but um I've done every oh. oh you are so stubborn, Melody. Don't look at me like that. You're gonna make this an extra long episode, aren't you, Melody? Melody, you are the worst. You are such a tease. I know exactly what you're going to do. You're going to climb up there and show off how great you are, and then you're going to... Melody, if you evolve where I can't see you, you're going to annoy me so much. Aw, Rosso, that's so rude. He's trying to get your attention. Alright, Melody, I do not have... An... Oh no! Oh, I woke up Lenny. I meant to pick Melody up, and I woke up Lenny's... I'm sorry, Lenny! Oh, Melody, why must you do this? Don't walk away. Oh, you okay now? Yeah, I'm sorry, Lenny. Yeah, you, on the other hand, I feel no sympathy for. Oh, look, he's doing the spin dance. Oh, if I put another one uh, with them, will you both dance? Yeah. Oh, he's kind of looking at him. Oh, they're both dancing! Are you asleep? Oh no. See what you're missing out on, Melody? Yeah. Whoops. If you weren't playing games with me, you could be dancing right about now. You know, as mad as I am at you, it is very cute that you have a fruit pillow. Almost like you decide to sit there on purpose so it would look that way. Alright, I got three out of four chow to evolve and I only really wanted at least one, so I guess I'll call that a success. So, next episode I'll be focusing mainly on the Dark Garden babies again, because like I said, we'll be shifting between Hero and Dark, but um, I'd say it's most likely that I'm just going to revisit Melody really quickly at the beginning and hopefully they will evolve and be a good chow. Ah, well, I'll call it an episode there, and bye-bye.